Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about the response reduction factor and uh, try to show that how it can be applied in linear elastic uh, or equivalent static analysis of the structure, especially in the finite element software. But today I will show you how to apply it in the ETAB software. So basically, the seismic design of the structure is based on the elastic force. Here, this is the first displacement uh, relationship or four displacement curve in which base shear is shown here in y axis and the roof displacement is indicated here in the x axis. And this is the linear elastic curve and this uh, point is the elastic strength. So, basically, the we need to design the structure on based on this uh, BE or based on the elastic strength, but it is not always economically feasible to design the structure by taking the consideration of this BE in the design except that uh, the structure which are built in the radiation of nuclear power plant or any thermal power plant or any other important structure which doesn't allow even a small amount of cracks in the structure under the severe earthquake ground motion. So generally this uh, BE base here is reduced uh, up to certain level based on the different parameter and that uh, reduced base shear is have to be incorporated in the design. Mm. So the nonlinear response of the structure is not incorporated here in the design philosophy but somehow its effect is implicitly, implicitly uh, incorporated by using the appropriate term called response reduction factor. The concept of this response reduction factor is to de-amplify or reduce the seismic demand or seismic force and incorporated non-linearity with the help of the over strength, this uh, ductility and consideration of certain non-linearity of the structure in the design. But uh, actually it's not non-linear analysis of the structure. So the resonance reduction factor are reflects about the capacity of the structure which is shown by this uh, the ductility factor over strength redundancy damping and um, the capacity of the structure to dissipate sufficient amount of hysteretic energy through numerous inelastic cycle or inelastic behavior this is uh, this response reduction factor is different for different type of structure and uh, it's uh, differently named uh, identified in different countries or different codes so, uh, looking into IS uh, 1893 or Indian code, it is called response reduction factor. While in looking into ASC 716 or ASC code, it is called response modification coefficient, and in Euro codes, it is called behavior factor. Here, this is the B design. B design is generally used in the design of the structure, but if we look, look into this red curve, which is an actual capacity curve of the structure, which can be obtained by uh, pushover analysis of the structure. And this uh, blue one is the idealized bilinear curve for the actual strength of the structure. This actual capacity curve can be obtained from the over strength of the material, like a reinforcement bar, concrete, and the redundancy of the structure, as well as the damping uh, value of the damping that can be present in the structure. So, although if we take the design force as B design, the actual capacity of the structure we obtained uh, during the pushover analysis or time history analysis is nonlinear time history analysis is BU. So, from this B design to BU, it is called over strength factor or redundancy factor, and above that BU to BE, it's called ductility factor. If we look into the response reduction factor empirical formula given by different codes, the formula is R equals to R mu into R omega into R zeta into R s, where R mu is the ductility reduction factor and it is obtained by uh, the ratio of V uh, elastic upon V ultimate. And this R omega uh, is the ratio of V u by V design. Actually, uh, in over, uh, over strength, this uh, uh, reduction factor due to 
redundancy and this dampings are included in this overstrength section but also these values are given as one for uh, uh, indicated as one or mentioned as one in different codes so while summarizing this uh, we get r equals to the multiplication factor of r mu ductility uh, reduction factor and the overstrength factor similarly if we look into the displacement part the ductility is given by uh, the displacement at the ultimate state when the capacity of the structure is in this level maximum capacity of the structure or, or ultimate capacity of the structure divided by the yield displacement the displacement at the first yield of the structure so in general ductility is the ability of the material or cross sections or member or overall you can say structure to sustain large amount of deformation without uh, fracture fracture or failure uh, or uh, to dissipate large amount of static energy without any collapse of the structure it uh, enables the structure to go large deformation resulting in the dissipation of large amount of energy before the collapse occurs and uh, the ductility reduction factor is the measurement of nonlinear global response of the structure similarly if we go for redundancy then it is the quality of structure having alternate load path in the structure with by which the lateral force can be transferred allowing the structure to remain stable uh, stable following the failure of single element uh, in the structure more redundancy leads to an increased level of energy dissipation and the strength and it serves as a key factor for structural robustness because it offers the possibility of avoiding the uh, unacceptable failure of the structure so a component or structure is considered full redundant if its boundary conditions or support are such that the failure of the one component merely changes the boundary or support condition but doesn't result in the collapse of the structure if we if we look into the different code here the this is atc19 response reduction factor is the combination of rs r mu and r zeta which is already described in this video and this r zeta is generally the w factor is generally taken as one here we see r zeta equals to one and if we look into ac716 the redundancy factor is also taken as 1.3 and 1 so if we look here carefully when the structure this offers requires the removal of an individual lateral force resisting element to determine in effect of on the remaining structure if the removal of elements by one by one doesn't result in more than 33 percent reduction in storage strength if we remove the it means if we remove the structural element or if, if one structural element fails it doesn't if it doesn't uh, uh, reduce the strength or towards an extreme torsional uh, irregularity by 33 percent then this redundancy factor is can be taken as one so so this factor are taken as one and ultimately the response reduction factor is the combination of our mu ductility factor and uh, over strength factor so for this value of r if we look into different codes so let me go to first is code here are different values of r for different structural systems for example rc building with special moment resisting frame smrf the value is 5 and similarly rc omrf building is 3 and for other type of structure the values are different we see here for the same value if we look into AC 1417, AC 722. And these are the values. Yeah, these are the values for different uh, structural system. The for example, bearing wall system and type of bearing wall system with walls. We see the different values. Here we see the values of eight uh, in steel centrically breast frame. And also, if we uh, take the, uh, if we have to consider the r value for moment resisting frame 
special moment resisting concrete frame its value value is also 8 and for the same value or same factor if we look into our uh, Naples code which is updated Naples code NBC 1052020 it is not directly given in terms of it is not directly given or mentioned in terms of R instead it is given as R mu in and omega mu and this is for serviceability limit state and this is for ultimate limit state uh, stress um, or state and this r equals to the product of r this r mu this one into this one this one so we have to introduce this r while calculating the base shear coefficient in the code i'll show you later and this is the uh, the response reduction factor is the multiplication of r mu and omega uh, mu so if we uh, go for reinforced concrete moment resisting frame r mu is 4 and omega mu is 1.5 means the overall response reduction factor for this uh, moment resting frame is 4 into 1.5, it means 6. So this factor is somewhere mentioned here uh, while calculating the base shear coefficient. I will show you. Okay, I think it's here in the Yes, this is uh, the horizontal base shear coefficient. It means ult for ultimate limit state, the horizontal base shear coefficient or design coefficient CD T1 shall be given by CD T1 equals to CT by R, where CT is the elastic site spectra, which is given in given in this class 4.1.1, and the value of R and the ductility factor and overstrength factor are indicated uh, or mentioned in the table. It means CDT1 equals to CT by R. So, like this way, the response reduction factor is incorporated in uh, Nepal's building code, Nepal building code 1052020. Then, after that, I will show in ETAPS how to assign the value of R while doing static equivalent static analysis. Here, this is the structural model and for the load uh, pattern we have to define we need to define from choose N nbc or is or asc any load pattern for example let me choose I eqx as for the indian code as for the ibc is 456 Here is IS four five six. Sorry, IS one eight nine three two zero zero two or one eight nine three two zero one six. First of all, I add the load pattern, and if I modified this load pattern, let me choose for one direction. You can choose x, one direction, x direction plus eccentricity to consider the eccentricity of the structure and here the response reduction factor is r is by default it is 5 it means the value of 5 is for a special moment resisting frame and this is the seismic zone factor and potential factor also the soil type so in is code the response reduction factor is incorporated here in the definition of seismic loading similarly if we go for eqx SC SC then modify sorry I have to choose here SC 716 then modify sorry then modify lateral load 
here we see that the factors are response modification factors is r is mentioned here and system over strength omega and the displacement amplitude factor cd and the structural importance factor i this factor have to be uh, in input here according to the type of the structure according to the type of uh, the functional uh, type of the buildings in by which the building can be used as ordinary buildings or public buildings or school buildings or hospital building it is denoted by this import importance factor and the over strength factor as well as displacement amplitude factor for each type of structure so this is the way by which the response reduction factor is incorporated in uh, linear static analysis i hope the concept of this response reduction factor is clear to everyone and for more videos keep tuning my channel keep subscribing my channel and keep watching and don't forget to comment me uh, to improve uh, in the future thank you